Hello, kindergartners. I'm sorry I wasn't able to be with you live this morning. Um, my power went out, and so I am going to do class right here. And um, you can watch it and then make sure you do your class kick at the end, okay? All right, let's get started. Let me share my slides. All right, so today you will need uh, a blank piece of paper, a pencil, and something to color with for your exit task. Um, and we will be reading later on the story, Have You Filled a Bucket Today? All right, here we go. All right, you can say your hellos. All right, remind yourself of what it means to be doing your very best in our class and what the expectations are. All right, ready? And always be a Yeti. Yeti, high five. Yeti, high five. All right, Yetis, are you ready? Let's get started. I want you to think about your feelings and talk to your learning coach right now about how you're feeling. So we have the happy area, angry, calm, and sad. Point to how you're feeling and tell your learning coach how you're feeling. You can pause the video if you feel like you need some more time to talk. All right, let's do our chant, you guys. Hello, Yetis, your turn. What do you say? Your turn. It's going to be an awesome day. Your turn. So jump up high. Your turn. Then boogie on down. Your turn. Clap three times. Your turn. And turn around. Your turn. All right, nice job, Yetis. Let's keep going. So some announcements. Our Tacoma Art Museum field trip had to be changed. Um, WAVA has changed their um, procedures based on safety for COVID. And so they are wanting all outings to be outdoors. We're going to have our outing at Billy Frank Jr. Nisqually. I'll show you a little bit more information on that in the next slide. Also, don't forget, we do not have school on the 25th and 26th for Thanksgiving break. I still have a few people that have not completed the student of the week pages in the culture book. Please let me know if you're having difficulty with that. If needed, you could always print them out and just draw on the pages and take a picture and send those back. Okay. So here is our outing for Friday. I really hope that you can join me. It's such a beautiful place. We'll have just a wonderful little hike or walk um, and get to see so much beauty out there, see so many birds. It's gonna be really nice. If for some reason the weather is way too windy or rainy, then we will do our virtual Friday fun day instead. If you are in the math support group, we will not have a live class that day. If we do end up doing this kindergarten outing, um, I will just send a video and slides for that. Uh, they do ask for a donation of $3 uh, per four adults, it looks like. So please bring cash for that. You'll just put it in a little envelope um, before you um, enter. And we will meet just right uh, in the beginning, kind of near the parking lot there. Um, that's where we'll meet right at 1030 and then we will begin walking after that. So if you don't see us there, we probably have started walking. So you'll need to find us. Okay. All right. Please let me know if you can attend that. I really hope you can. I am really looking forward to going to that place and sharing that with you, with you guys. Okay. Calendar time. All right, I want you to think about what it is the month. What is the day that we're on today? What is the year? And I would like you to think about it. And then I would like you to talk to your learning coach about what you think the month, day, year, 
um, and any other special events that you see that are coming up, you can point to those and go over them. Please pause the video and go over those and then we're gonna just continue with the next slide. So please pause and go over the date today. All right, next we're going to count all the way up to 52. Let's do it together, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Nice counting, you guys. All right. So just reminder that you should be practicing your rainbow words every single day. Please make sure to work on one. Once you've mastered that one, move on to a new word and keep practicing the ones that you have already mastered. When you get all of these done, please record your voice reading them on the, the class kick that I have posted in there. And if you need the link to it, when you get to that point, just email me and ask for it. And make sure to color in your rainbow sight words when, um, as you complete a color, color them in as you go. All right, so here's our sight word this week that we're gonna work on. The word is two, read it for me. Two, spell it, T-O, read it again. What is it? Two, tap the letters on your arm, ready? T. O, write it in the air. T, O. Now write it on your whiteboard and hold it up. You can pause the video so that you have enough time to write. All right, our next word is the word in. In, read it for me. Good, spell it, I-N. Okay, now read it again, what is it? In, good job, tap the letters on your arm, ready? I-N, write it in the air, I-N. Write it on your whiteboard. Please pause the video so you have enough time to write. Okay, now we're just gonna review the words that we've already done. So think about this word in your head, read it, spell it, read it again. Think about this word now, ready? Think about it, read it, spell it. Read it again. Hey, think about this word. Read it. Spell it. Read it again. 
Okay, think about this word, read it, spell it, read it again. Okay, I want you to take a look at this sentence and we are going to see if we can find those words, those sight words that we just went over in the sentence first, okay? So let's see. So our sight words for this week, we have some new ones. One second here, I'm gonna get back to this one, this page. And let's review again the words that we're looking for. So we're looking for the word to, in, is, on, the, and. Okay, so we're going to start with that word to. Find the word to and point to it. Where is to? You can always pause it if you need more time. Now find the word in. 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 Where's the word in? And you can see them on the side of my page here as well. Pause it if you need more time. Okay, next word. Find the word is. Okay, next word. Find the word on. Find the word the. Find the word and. All right, so hopefully you found all of those words. We're now going to read it together. Put your finger on the words as I read it with you. Um, we're going to read it pretty slowly at first, okay? Ready? Let me see if I have a little um, spotlight that I can, there we go. Okay, ready? I am on the bike and he is as well. We are going to the park in Tacoma. All right, we're going to read it a little quicker this time. Follow along with me. I am on the bike and he is as well. We are going to the park in Tacoma. All right. We are going to move on and talk about our mindset. So our mindset for this month is called live to give. And I want you to think about how can we share kindness and spread some love? So think about that in your head. How can we share kindness and spread love? Pause the video and turn and talk to somebody you're sitting next to about what you're thinking with that. So next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be watching a video. So one second as I share my screen so that you can watch the video as well. OK.
Gardeners, I hope you enjoyed that and also got up and danced a little bit as well. Let me screen share again and get back to our lesson. So next up, we are going to read the story, Have You Filled Your Bucket Today? It's a guide to daily happy, happiness for kids. It's by Carol McLeod. I'm going to get my little pointer again so that we can use that to see. All right. All day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. You can't see it, but it's there. You have a bucket. Each member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents, friends, and neighbors all have buckets. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel happy and good when your bucket is full and you feel sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket and this is how it works. Other people can fill your bucket and you can fill theirs. You can fill your own bucket too. So how do you fill a bucket? You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says and does nice things to make others feel special. When you treat others with kindness and respect, you fill their bucket. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore them. That's bucket dipping. Bullying is bucket dipping. When you hurt others, you dip into their bucket. You will dip into your own bucket too. Many people who dip have an empty bucket. They may think they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. 
You will never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you will fill your own bucket too. You feel good when you help others feel good. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your mom and dad, why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets with joy. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Here are some ideas for you. You could smile and say hi to the bus driver. He has a bucket too. You could invite the new kid at school to play with you. You could write a thank you note to your teacher. <laughs> you could tell your grandpa that you like spending time with him. There are many ways to fill a bucket. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. It doesn't cost money. It doesn't take much time. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school, and your neighborhood better places for all. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. So why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by saying to yourself, I'm going to do something to fill someone's bucket today. And at the end of the day, ask yourself, did I fill a bucket today? Yes, I did. That's the life of a bucket filler. And that's you. So I want you to think of some ways you could fill someone's bucket. Everybody stop and think for a second. And turn and tell somebody you're sitting next to and tell them some different ways you could fill someone's bucket. Please pause the video to allow enough time for you to um, talk. All right, so live to give means stretching ourselves to fill other people's buckets and our, and our own. And that is what we are learning about this month is living to give, okay? So I want you to think about some ways, maybe on this page that you see people are doing that or think of some ways that you can do that in your own life. So today we're going to fill a classmate's bucket by sharing some love. So you're gonna grab a piece of paper and something to write and color with. I'm gonna have you pause the video if you have not um, gotten those things yet. And then um, you can unpause when you're ready. So we are going to create a monster hug for you. One second as I get there. All right, so we're gonna watch this video and you can draw and watch, all right? So one second here as I get the video ready. My job is to make college easier because students have a lot on them.
All right. So if you didn't finish up your drawing, you can always pause the video and finish that drawing up. And I will show you where you're going to post that. Okay. One second as I stop sharing and I get back to our slides here. Okay, so I will end up um, emailing you guys this, but you are going to post it in this class kick right here and just put it on top of the envelope there. And then you will be able to view other people's drawings. Okay, and if you want to add some words on there um, so that other kids can see um, any words that you want to add, things that you want to tell the class. It's going to be something that any of the kids in the class can see. So you won't want to put just one person's name on there. It's to all the kids in our class, okay, to share with your kindergarten buddies. So if you want to add any words to your picture or just post your picture, make sure that you have your name on there so everybody can see who did the drawing, okay? And make sure to raise your hand. And that I think is how you're able to move and see other people's work is when people raise their hand. All right, another thing I wanted to let you guys know about is that I did the read aloud for the Tale of Peter Rabbit. Um, and so I will email that link out to you as well. So you can watch that for this week because you guys will be reading about the Tale of Peter Rabbit this week. Another thing for next week, come to class and be ready to share something you're thankful for. So that's on next Monday. We're going to share things that we are thankful for um, next week. Okay. We were going to have Kaleo, the student of the week, talk and do his student of the week book and culture book, but we will have him do that next week. So Kaleo, I'm sorry that we didn't get to do that today, but you will definitely get a chance to do that next week and share everything with us. Okay. All right, you guys, well, we are at the end. So pick your virtual reward, which animal looks the cutest. I feel like they're just being so sweet and kind to each other. And that goes along with filling up each other's buckets. So that's what they're doing for each other, the animals. So that's why I picked these cute little pictures. All right, you guys, wave goodbye, say goodbye. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully the power will be working. Power came back on in my house and hopefully it will stay on. So everybody stay safe out there. It is super windy, at least where I live. And I hope to see you soon. All right, everybody have the best day. Bye. See you later. Yeti also says bye. Bye guys. <laughs>